Paolo Cuso, who fights Faris Chevalier. Different style of an opponent for you in this fight, Faris, an extremely tricky boxer. You know, it's a bit awkward. Um, I mean, he's unorthodox, but he's good at being unorthodox, and I'm prepared for it. What do you think happens in a fight like this? He will want to box with you, of course. He always does that, and he's uh, left a lot trying to figure out the riddle through the uh, the rounds that he's fought against them. Um, what happens in this fight, do you think? Oh, for this fight, I reckon he'll run. Especially uh, him seeing my other two fights, I reckon he'll run for me. My power's too strong. I've done many runs with him before in the, in the past, and um, I know definitely he'll run because he's, he's seen what I can do, and you know what I can do, so he's definitely running. Where do you think you're at? Because you've got some hefty ambitions in professional boxing. You really want to get things done fast. Uh, how are you progressing with that? Yeah, I'm progressing good. I mean, I want to be the, the greatest Australian of all time. Um, you know, I want to be Jeff Fennig's record and get a world title under seven. And to do that, I've got to get past all these guys and, and obviously just you know, just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, my team in uh, No Limit have been uh, you know, getting the fights for me and uh, I'm ready for it all. Just give us a word on uh, the festival of boxing. We're seeing 20 fights across 10 hours. It's something a bit different, Paulo. Yeah, I want that 15K, eh? Hey? I mean, every other fight I've had, I swear that bonus is never there. The bonus is never there because, you know, the bonus is coming to me anyways. But now that's there, I'm definitely taking it for sure. You know, it's still the show, and I'll be the end of the night. We look forward to it. Thank you, Paulo Acuso. We'll now continue along the front row.